Not long ago, I posted a list of car libraries and add-ons from Zender in my other channel, Aspiration Tots. And in that video, I went over a bunch of add-ons containing massive libraries of cars and vehicles. But today, I'm gonna talk about Launch Control, an add-on made especially for realistic car animations. So let's jump right in and see what it can offer. We all have seen some amazing car animations, whether it is in the form of police chases or an intense race, from some amazing creators. But what if I told you that you can make animations like that and you can do that easily with this add-on called Launch Control, in ways that can make you question yourself about all that time that you wasted? Well, to be honest, it all depends on the details and the time you put into it. But I can say for sure that this add-on can take care of realistic animations when it comes to four-wheeled vehicles. So Launch Control is a rigging and car animation add-on for Blender that can help you make realistic car rigs and animations in a very short period of time. Using it, you will follow a simple workflow of selecting the vehicle, rigging, animation, and finally adding the physics simulations. The add-on also comes with four cars that you can use directly. So before you start using the add-on's features, first you will need a vehicle, which is obvious, isn't it? For that, you can use one of the cars that come with the add-on, or you can choose your own model. You can also use vehicles from the car transportation, car teleporter, or the traffic car packs or libraries that I mentioned in that video. And before I forget, the add-on also supports four-wheeled vehicles, so cars with more than that will not work. After selecting your car, you will need to rig it. The rigging in the add-on is what you can call lazy rigging, as you will need to press one button and you're done. The add-on uses rigging tags to detect which parts of the vehicles are which by their names, which is great. And the libraries that I mentioned earlier use the same naming convention. But don't worry, you can use your own models as the add-on has a quick tag tool and you can use it to tag the required parts for the add-on to work. And those are the car body and each wheel individually, which was very helpful when I used it on some car models that I found online. You can also rig other optional parts of the car like the brake clippers, the headlights and the wheel covers if there are any. Now, going to the animation part of the add-on, you can clearly see the launch control uses a curve-based animation workflow, as in the car will follow the curve assigned to it. The add-on also ships with some animation presets, varied from a straight path to some drift and jump animations to showcase how it works. The animation in the add-on is separated into three parts. First, you have automated animation, which is the basic stuff, you know like following the path, turning wheels, the ground direction, you get it, I think. The second layer is the custom animation, i.e. the drifting, the custom steering, the custom weight, the tilting of the car, and so on. And those are the details that you can add to make the animation more lifelike. The final layer is the simulated animation. From the wobble at launch, to the body roll on turns, the bumps on the roads, the impact on jumps, as in the effects that can bring your animations to the next level. And those can be edited and added from the physics tab of the add-on. Now with more exciting stuff, we have real-time physics. The physics tab of the add-on is here to add secondary motions to the vehicle, and by that making it more realistic when taking turns or driving on different terrains. This process of adding this level of detail of animation, or adding these details to the animation, usually takes a ton of time. So having it done automatically with just a button might be my favorite part about this add-on. As you can always customize parameters of the simulated physics manually, or just select a preset of the available ones, which are a road car, a race car, a rally car, a truck, and even a cartoon car, which is interesting. I will not go over all the physics parameters that you can customize, but know this, whatever the result you want to get, you can get exactly what you want with this add-on. You can also animate multiple cars at the same time for a chase scene or a race sequence, as the add-on also supports multi-car rigging, but each car has to be in a separate collection. Launch Control also has a ton of other features like the speedometer and the speed segments, an option to create a hooked camera, also you can add skid marks and more stuff. 
I will finish this video by saying this add-on is amazing for beginners who still don't know how to create or animate cars and also for advanced users who don't have time because the add-on has easy to use tools and a really intuitive UI. So I highly recommend to check it out to see it for yourself. So if you are interested, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.